Hi, this is Chris Cameron from Chris Cameron Online on YouTube. And today I'm going to talk about something that has to do with success, but also happiness. It's kind of interpersonal skills. And uh, this one's called Woundology. And you might not have heard the term. You might have to look it up. Uh, I don't know if that's an overall generally recognized term. It's just one I've seen in a few articles. But, but what it refers to, and, and I know that this video will not make any difference to people that use woundology in their life. This is for people that are subsequently victimized by people that use woundology. And what woundology is, is if something terrible happens in somebody's life, usually something very terrible, um, the person won't let it go. And the person uses it in inappropriate situations, usually accompanied by extreme emotional outbursts, tears, yelling, sobbing, and it has nothing to do with the situation, but that allows them to get their way. So they use it like this. They try to use it like a social carte blanche, where they get their own way. And it has nothing to do with the situation. So it's totally absurd. Uh, and they'll, they'll say, well, don't you know I'm a so-and-so survivor? I can't possibly meet on that day. I've got to go to my meeting. And somebody just met them. All they have to do is say, I, Thursday's not good for me. Can I go another day? You know? But they have to obviously, to get the clout over the other person, whenever they meet somebody, within minutes, they have to roll out this whole sob story. And, you know, we do care for each other as humans, but most people don't want to hear about health or certain things about you and... and that's just really personal. That's something you would tell a friend or a family member. But to tell it to complete strangers that you casually meet within minutes is obviously something else is going on. You know, a ploy. And it's a way to use it in social situations to get whatever you want. Um, and people are, you know, no, most, you know, humans are very resilient. People are very resilient. And yes, things do happen to us, and, and often some terrible things happen to us during our lives. We have lots of good things that happen too. But people that practice woundology, is they hold on to it like a badge of honor, but not of honor, but of, of a free passport that they can do and say and act however they wish. And really the only defense is just to ignore it and say, so you don't want to go to the meeting Thursday, you know? Uh, what, what day's better? Because uh, I have a... a couple of relatives that try to practice that and once you've seen it a few times it's nothing but manipulation and you, if you just don't give them any power they get they get all flustered and put on a show but you know what they quit pulling it on you if it doesn't make any effect just like a kid if it doesn't help they won't use it anymore and it's, it's a very strange thing you know to bring something up and uh, and because it is so shocking and, of course, it's true it happened, but it could be years ago. It could be 10, 20, 30 years ago. Uh, even if it's years ago. I mean, it's just it's an absurd thing. So just keeping this short, um, just be aware of that. Don't be manipulated by that. Um, you can be compassionate and say, oh, I see. I'm sorry to hear that. So Thursday's not good for you. And, and just don't put a lot of credit into it. And if they get all offended, you don't need to be around them anyway. Um, they're, they're in their own little world. They think they're the king or the queen. And there you go. So, um, there you go. Hey, Chris Cameron from sunny Florida. Uh, keep on uh, doing what you're doing and, and improving. And if you like it, smash that like button. And I'll keep these videos coming. Thank you so much.